like as a five-year-old, you know, her coming outside telling me what to do with things. And, you know, the other day she came home and she's like, puts her hands on her hips. She says, do we recycle, mum? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, are you sure we do? And she's like, that's go on about, you know that if we don't recycle, do you know how many things we can make plastic things with? And I'm like, wow, okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, awesome. That is but, so yeah, cool. A very different um, learning and, you know, they can walk into the forest at lunchtime and go on like a, a little tour or learn things. So it is really cool. Yeah, week on, week off. Um, and that's quite new. But, you know, we both want to play mummy and daddy. Um, I still talk to my kids every day um, via FaceTime, which is quite good. But my job, my job is very demanding. Um, you know, we have not only doubled the business since October but even in the last week we've doubled numbers again wow. so wow. I I have to really stay on top of my game so the week off is when I really nail down you know with my business coach or myself and get things stuck in you know to to my goal because I have a big goal my goal is to change the lives of you know 10,000 mums in the next year which is a really big goal but I truly wow. believe that um, I have, I'm more than capable of doing it. Speaking for me was something that I was so scared of, but then suddenly, um, you know, like a couple of years ago, uh, it was the Scotland Fitness Expo wrote to me and said, you know, we'd love to have you as one of our keynote speakers. I was like, wow, wow. you know, it's happening. Um, and then I've ended up speaking at every single fitness expo around the world now. It had wow. got to a point in London where, um, I don't. I didn't really focus on health and fitness while I was there. Um, I got agoraphobic. I many weekends I'd just stay in my vicinity because I was actually very scared of going outside. Wow. You know, the the roller coasters of life. If something bad happens to me now, I sit back and I thank it. Mm. I thank <laughs> it because you can only be thankful for those terrible moments because what's around the corner is incredible. Yeah, you know.